All right, welcome to week seven of our online learning. Yes, I have moved myself and I am sitting on the beach with flowing palm trees and waves crashing behind me. No, really, I'm still sitting in my living room. Um, but this is week seven um, and this is the final week. So there are two things for you guys to do this week and I'm actually gonna post this online tomorrow. So for those of you who really wanna get started tomorrow, you can. Um, so as a final assessment and as a final exam type of a thing, um, what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is do a re reflection. So um, basically our final exam is called Analysis SL Reflection for Final Thoughts. And I'm gonna post this document on um, Schoology as well, but I also thought I'd uh, post it for you guys so you can read it here. Um, and then what I will do is I will still create the same Google form um, if you wanna write your final thoughts in a Google document, you can do that. If you, you know, feel like making Google Slides, if you wanted to, I don't know, record a video or a screen share or something that um, has you guys reflecting on the things that I'm asking you to do, be creative. Use your inner creativity. For some of us, that is easier than for others of us. If it was me, I'd probably be writing a Google Doc, but you know me. Um, creativity doesn't always equate itself to, maybe you even drew, drew me a cartoon, I don't know. So I'll let you guys come up with how you guys want to reflect and how you want to submit that, but I'll still upload a Google form so you guys can upload your documentation there. So two things, two things, two things. Um, A and I'm gonna read it to you because I think it'll probably sound just like me even though I you know, found this information from elsewhere. Um, I have emphasized the importance of struggling in mathematics and that it's normal and part of the process of learning. Describe an instance so far in this course where you struggled with a problem or a concept and initially had the wrong idea, but then you later realized your error. In this instance, in what ways was a struggle or a mistake valuable to your eventual understanding. We've talked about it all year. I wanted you guys to throw some mathematics at it. Um, be comfortable with being uncomfortable about your learning. Um, and so that's what I want you to reflect on. The second thing that I want you to do is I want you to create a list of things or people that have helped you this year and will and could help you next year. I want you to start being proactive as we move into summer about what options you have for next year to seek out help or to figure things out. Um, you know, I, I've talked to a couple of you and, and we might be feeling that next year is gonna be a little bit um, different. We just still don't know what the school year is gonna look like, um, but we know we'll have, you know, IB. Um, and I want you guys to be thinking about your resources. What resources do you have right now in your back pocket that you can apply next year? Um, so think about those things and that's what I would like you guys to reflect on. Now this can add up to four percentage points to your overall grade. Um, so unlike a final exam where some of you have really good grades and it's really hard to bring that 88 up to an A, um, this is just straight up points added to your final exam or your final grade. Um, these is, this is the basic rubric that I'll be looking for. I'm going to be looking for you guys to reflect and explain your thinking, your learning, the processes, implications. Um, I want it to be in depth. Um, that's going to get you those maximum points. And for some of us, um, the points may not matter, but I do really want you to do this reflection because I think that this reflection part is important as we move into next year. Um, the other thing that I'm going to be getting ready to share with you guys is a Schoology um, group. I will share the access to that Schoology group, and in that Schoology group, there's going to be a folder of information on the um, IB Math inter internal assessment, the exploration. Obviously, we didn't get to start it this year because that was going to happen second semester, and um, second semester kind of, you know, it, it went just a little bit awry and we're doing things differently. So 
I don't want you to write your IAs over the summer, but I want you to start thinking about them. So in that folder, there's going to be information about what is an IA, what is the scoring rubric. Uh, there's an article on how do you actually write a mathematics paper. There are going to be example IAs along with scoring um, there will be information about what is called a mind map and and your thought process and thinking out loud about what your potential IA is going to be. I would highly suggest going through that this summer and starting that process of thinking because I think that that's going to help um, as we start sec uh, next year with year two of IB math. So again I hope you guys are well. I'll post this stuff up tomorrow. Today's Thursday, so I'll post this stuff up tomorrow. Um, I hope you guys are well. I hope you're being safe. I miss you. Um, log into office hours next week. Check in with me. Um, Tuesday morning, Wednesday, Thursday, mor or Wednesday morning and afternoon, Thursday afternoon, Friday. I'd love to chat with you. I'd love to see you guys um, and answer any questions that you guys have. Take care.